hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Jackson Knowledge Goddess. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all are the last, but very much so not least, okay, of this Texas series of readings. Now, um, before I flip this over, I would like for you to please keep in mind that these are general messages, so everything may or may not apply to you in your situation, and that is okay, Virgos. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Virgos. Um, please like, subscribe, show the friend who may need it. And also, like, subscribe. Did I already say that? Am I getting redundant? That must be the thing we are reading. It's getting redundant. Okay. Anywho, y'all know all the good stuff. You know, smash the like button and all of that good gravy. Um, some of you could be eating gravy. Okay, or some type of um, creamy soup or uh, some type of sauce or something like that. Anyway, if you would like to see more of me, hit that post notification bell. Comment below. Let me know if it resonates with you. And thank you so much. All right. Let's see. What's going on with the Texas Virgos? Ooh. So we got meditation. Okay. And we have dreams. We've got Vesta, the goddess within, your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity and also enchantment. So I feel like y'all are getting into affirmations. Y'all are, uh, oh, you have the moon energy at the bottom. Your unconscious, sensitive, and inner emotions and responses. I really feel like y'all are at a very important time in your lives. I feel like um, y'all are using a lot of affirmations, or you need to, and y'all are doing a lot of meditations. You can be doing a lot of sleeping. Um, a lot of you are learning about astral projection, so you could be very, very tired in your waking life once you actually wake up. I'm seeing a lot of purple and yellow, so also learning more about your purpose learning uh, more about the crown chakra so we have the solar plexus solar plexus and crown chakra activation some of you may feel like an outsider or feel like some people don't understand but sometimes everything is not for people to understand all right so let's see all right so we got the five of swords Too many cards. Alright, so we have the Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. Oh, okay, so I just heard, I think it's Marvin Sapp. It ain't over. It ain't over. Okay, so you got the Six of Cups. So I'm seeing two fives. Ooh, but it is over. Okay, so we got the world card. Ooh, and the judgment. Wow. And the emperor at the bottom. So for for a lot of you, this is the end of financial uh, instability. This is the end of, it's like the end of the road type energy. This is like the end of your fight. You're completing something. A lot of you are having a, another spiritual awakening. And you're moving a lot differently. Hmm, this is very interesting because we have all of the energies out here. You have swords, pinnacles, wands, and cups. So a lot of you could be stuck in some type of trends or some type of thought process. A lot of you are um, doing a lot of affirmations to change this. 
to change your thought process, to change your financial situation in order to manifest with this wands energy and um, also taking the, these past lessons that you've learned or kind of reminiscing on some type of past energy and leaping into this world in judgment card energy to change your outcome hmm okay so let's see oh look door to value as soon as I broke the deck victory attachment impatience Okay, so you got financial constraints. Okay, appreciation. Some of you need to learn to be a little more grateful. You got caring connections in reverse. What's the six of cups? Okay, indecision. With the six of cups, so y'all are battling between um, the ending of something. You have the, the man holding a coin which is the king of pentacles and you have door to personal healing and happiness didn't I say some of y'all was having some type of awakening or something because look you got the, the uh, this is not the crown chakra your third eye chakra so for a lot of you with, with this deep meditation and dreams and enchantment and all these things y'all are going through a huge spiritual awakening and it's like you're internally upgrading so that it can manifest in reality this upgrade so it can manifest in reality okay I'm hearing moral code or morse code so y'all could be getting a lot of angel numbers and decoding them I feel like some of you may have taken some missteps along the, along the way, but you're getting it right now, and you're on the right path. Let's get some clarifications. It's like minor setback for a major comeback. Yep, you got the four of cups. King of Wands, Ten of Cups. Some of you may be some type of leader. And it's like you appreciate where, um, you appreciate how far you've come. But at the same time, you're kind of bewildered because you're not getting the pay that you want. Okay. Ace of Cups and the Strength card. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to accept the fact that something is over. It's time for you to usher in this new healing for yourself, this new beginning, this new happiness. And yes, it takes a lot of strength and courage to do so. But you must because it's like you're sitting on the brink 
of accomplishing what you're trying to accomplish. It's time for you to not be double-minded or indecisive about what it is that you want. Especially when it comes to love. Okay, let's get another spread. It's time for you to become the leader of your own ship. Let's get another spread for the Texas Virgos. Alright, so you got the Page of Swords, the Four of Swords. I feel like some of you are going to be getting some type of message. Okay, so some of you are going to be getting some type of You're going to be getting some type of insights here. You're going to be getting some type of realization, some type of idea, some type of enlightenment that is going to help you with manifesting something. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. This could be about work as well. Some of you could be getting some type of... Uh, gift of money, some type of gift. Uh, some type of opportunity. Or you get some type of business, some type of new business going. It could be a new job or a pay raise. Whatever this is, you're learning about money. You're getting some type of information about how to make money. I'm going to clarify these real quick before we go. You get some type of message. What's this page of swords? Knight of Cups. Okay, so I'm hearing off kilter. So some type of love offer or some type of person is causing you to be off balance. Yeah, strength card. Ace of Swords. Nice. Nine of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Stay strong with whatever you've been doing. It's, it's time for you to keep doing it. Continue to meditate. A lot of you are recovering as well. Recovering from something emotionally or physically. And um, you're coming out of this as you're recovering. You're also gaining new perspectives new viewpoints and the, whatever this meditation is whatever you're doing spiritually affirmations meditations writing your dreams um, digging more into spirituality um, digging more into chakra and Reiki and all these different things is very good for you because this is opening some doors within you that is going to manifest in the reality. Especially with this hangman and the ace of swords here. You're getting illuminated about something. And then the, you then you finally get the this chance or this opportunity that you want or that you need to succeed. Because you have the ace of pentacles and you have the nine of cups. So there's some type of door opening. Don't resist the healing here that is for you. Don't resist the healing. Just let go. Let go. And just be. Don't let anybody get you um, off kilter right now. Because it's time for you to balance some things within yourself so that you can balance your life. 
Okay, any last messages? Okay. Let me put this up. Let's get your last messages. You got the Wheel of Fortune here. Yep, there's some good things coming in for y'all. And I'm happy. I'm happy for y'all. Alright. Trust. The moon energy. Whatever affirmations and things you've been doing, continue to do those. Okay, you have Scorpio energy. This energy is intense, masterful, and magnetically charming, and also secretive and possessive. So, with this Scorpio energy, what I took out of this was magnetically charming. So, with these affirmations and things like that, that's attracting the the outcomes that you want now the, the crazy part is well it's not crazy but another part of this is that you have to just believe that things are going to work out and let them unfold how they should be unfolding a lot of you could begin illuminated at night or gaining information at night or that could be your most powerful time to gain information or learn information but you must trust and have faith that everything is going to work out how it's supposed to. You also have Capricorn energy. This energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. And also at the bottom of the deck you have the Pluto energy. Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. So just do what you need to do. Take those proper steps. And believe. And things are going to be working out just fine. Just fine. So there wasn't even anything for you to be worried about. Alright, so with that being said, this was y'all's messages. I hope that this was helpful for you, Texan Virgos. I will see you all next time.